Okay, good morning. This is me, Miss Dima. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm good as well, too. Fine, thank you. I'm fine, too. Okay, now today we will continue the problem for we're talking about how. Um, uh, what I have to do if I want now to draw? Um, sorry, I will repeat. <laughs> In the previous lesson, we talked about the transformation, and we talked about how can we draw the uh, how the graph would be if it's shrinked, stretched, or translated. Now here, if I have to talk about the translation, if the functional is translation, the first step, I will compare it with the parent function. The parent function it will be as f of x equal a... 1 over x. Or 1 over x. So if a is 1, the general form, it will be 1 over x minus h plus k. This is the general form of if a is 1. Now. Sometimes we can combine between a over x and the general form, and I can rewrite it as a over x minus h plus k. This is now for the Wait, I want to, to, to look about my picture. Okay. Now, what about this one here? In this graph, in this uh, problem here, they told me that I want to guess how the graph will be if you know that it is not an... Uh, uh, 1 over x. It is from, it comes from 2 over x. I mean that it a here. Than one in a. Yes, it is not 1, it is 2. So it will be, instead of writing a over x minus h plus k, I can write it as 2 over x minus h and plus k. Now I want to fill what's k and what is h. Yesterday we said that I just look at the vertical asymptotes and or at the horizontal asymptotes. What about the vertical asymptotes here? Where's the vertical asymptotes? It is the uh, K. It's oh, here. H, H. It is H. So what is the vertical asymptotes? At it's X equal what? When x equal, now look here. If you look, I will wait, please. Here now, they are divided or one square. Each square is two. So here, zero. Here is negative two. Here is negative four. So if you look here, it is between negative two and negative four. So it is negative three. So at x equal negative three, we have the vertical asymptotes. And for the horizontal asymptotes here, where's the horizontal It is y equal. Four. Now, how is negative 2? Negative 4. So here, y is equal what now? Uh, y is equal to 4. Negative 4. Which is positive. Positive. Four. Yeah, positive. Sorry. No, yes. it's positive. So y, it will be positive 4. So, so the answer here, is f. If instead of writing x is, um, uh, oh, sorry, instead of writing x is equal negative 4, I will write it here like this. And here I will write it as 4. I will fill the blanks. In k, I will write it. That is the horizontal asymptotes. And instead of writing h, I will write 
negativity. So it will be 2 over x plus 3 plus 4, which is a. This is now for a. Now, here now, the graph is a function of a translation of y equal to over x. Here he told me that it is the graph, it comes from y equal to over x. This is the parent of the function. So it is like 2 over x minus h plus k. Mama. So here now, I want also to find h and k. So here I want to find now h and k. How? By finding the vertical and the horizontal asymptotes. To fill, I'm sorry. To fill the blanks, I want to find H and K. Let's go now to find the vertical asymptotes and also the horizontal asymptotes. What about the vertical asymptotes here? It's X equals 1. X positive 1. X equals yes. Exactly. At x equal 1. What about now the, the, the horizontal at y equal? Negative uh, 2. Negative? Oh, negative 4. Yeah. Negative four. 4. Yes. So now, here, I will write instead of x as 1. Minus 1. This is now the function. Teacher? Yes. So I get confused in finding the vertical asymptote and horizontal asymptote in this graph. Okay, see here. What is the meaning of vertical? Is it this line or that line? Where's the vertical? Rose? Yes, teacher. Where's the vertical the, here? The uh, height one. The height. Yes, okay. So at x equal what? Look at the, uh, this line now. It's intercept x at which point? One. What is the point that intercept x? One. One. So it's x equal one. What about the horizontal now? Uh, negative four. Negative four. But here yeah. is this line now. Here's there. Need the microphone except for us. So, here, after that rose, here you have x equal 1 and y equal negative 4. Now, instead of writing oh, near x, I have to write the point of x, which is what? Which is 1. I have write 1 here. And for the horizontal 1, because of y, I have to write the negative sign, or negative 4. And the previous one here, Oh, sorry. Oh, I cannot go back. If h now is not positive 1, if h now is negative 2 as an example, it will be this one. So it will be x plus 2. Because it is at uh, x minus minus 2. Because instead of, at, in, uh, of x, I have to write negative 2. So x minus negative 2 will be x plus 2. Is it clear now? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Now, here now, sketch the asymptotes and the graph of each function, identify the domain and the range. Look at this one here. This one is a 20, uh, so size, a 25 page. Like this. It is in page 512. Now, for this one here, what about the parent function? Who can tell me? What is the parent function here? 
x y x over x over x It is a negative 8 over x. So, the parent function here, it is a negative 8 over x. Now, this is the first step. Okay, then the second step, I have to find the asymptotes. Um, look here. From, it is like negative 8 over x plus 5 minus 6. So, at x, what about the value of x here? It is positive or negative? Negative 5. Negative 5. And what about the value of y? Negative 6. Negative 6. Thank you. So I have to draw now. Yeah. At point negative 5, this is my vertical asymptotes. And at point negative 6, this is my horizontal asymptotes. Okay, now after that, I have to go back to the previous problems that we solved yesterday. The steps here now, I want to, to take points to know that in which graph, or in which quadrant, or in which, uh, which quadrant here, I can say in which points between the vertical and horizontal asymptotes, I want to draw. Teacher, wait, Five. x is negative six. Y is negative six. This is x. The x axis. It will go to the left six. No, x is negative five. Where's the negative five on the x axis? It's here. Oh. Uh, and where? What about? What about y in x negative x? It is in the x in the negative x axis. Y axis. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Now after that. For the parent function is negative 8 over x. So if I use this function, if I put 1 and negative 1, if x is 1, y it will be negative 8. And if x is negative 1, negative 1 over negative, uh, negative 8 over negative 1, yeah, so the point will be 8. So this is now. Yesterday, when the function was 1 over x, we said that the old point will be 1, 1, and negative 1, negative 1. Here is no. Here the parent function is 8 over x, negative 8 over x. So the points was, or the points will be, sorry, 1, negative 8, this is the old one, and also Negative one eight. This if it's only eight, we will make one one. No, no, no. Every time, just to plot one and negative one. Or you okay. can to plot two and negative two. We have to get that one. Make it easy for you. Yes, to make it easy for you, just plot one and negative one. Now after that, so my new points. Oh, uh, the new the new, the points now for the negative eight over x will be 1, negative 8, and negative 1, 8. Then the second step, I say that x is negative 5 and y is negative 6. Negative 5 and negative 6. So after that, at the points with x coordinates, or the y coordinates, 1 plus negative 5 is negative 4. And negative 8 plus negative 6 is negative 14. This is now the new point. The other one, negative one minus five is negative six, and eight minus, uh, sorry, eight plus negative six is two. So now, negative four, negative 14. If I want to plot it now in the, uh, the uh, x, y axis, negative four, negative 14, where's negative 14? It will be somewhere here. And the second one, 
as negative six, negative two. So it will be somewhere here. So because of that, I can sketch now the graph to be like this. This is now the sketch of the graph. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Now from here, what about the domain? The domain is all real numbers except at negative five. And the range is all real numbers except negative six. Exactly. Thank you. So I will clear here. I'm sorry, it must not. It mustn't touch the uh, x axis. Okay, now, so by that, what about the domain here? I will ask uh, Sausan, I think. She says that look at now the x axis here, the value of the x axis. It is all real numbers, but except, as you see here at point negative five, you have an asymptote. This uh, point, the point of asymptote, tell me that at this point, you have to stop here, there's no point. So I will say that the real, the domain is all real numbers, except x equal negative five. And the range now, is all real numbers except where's Lana? Lana? Here, teacher. Here. Can you tell me what is the range? All real numbers all except real what? Numbers except what? Negative sex. Thank you. Except y equal negative sex. Now, is it clear? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any question for this lesson? No. 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 Okay. Now let's go. You said, what if we have like seven without negative? It would be the same. Everything would be the same. Or seven. No, no. Like, what if we have not negative eight, seven without negative? Nothing will okay. change. No, here it will be the parent function it will be seven over x. So I get one to get seven. So the points that I have to start from it, I will not use one negative eight and negative one eight. I will use one seven and negative one negative seven. Oh yeah, this is about what I'm asking. Well I continue or is it clear now? No, it's clear. 